Okay. Hello everyone. This session we will discuss about EKS cluster upgrade with zero downtime. Zero downtime. So this will be a whiteboard session. We will be just explaining the steps for execution purpose. You can check it out the guideline which Amazon publish it or AWS publish it. So suppose I want to upgrade my EKS cluster. So how will you do it? First, test the new upgrade, which has come new version, which has come test in the non-prod environment. Non-prod environment. How it, it will help us? See, sometimes what happens, the uh, API versions, some of the APIs may change it, which was working uh, earlier, they might have changed it. So go through the documentation, or otherwise check it out. Is that all the things are working fine if we upgrade across the release. So test in the non-prod environment, that is the first step. Once you check it out in the non-prod environment, the second thing is before you upgrade it, check all the worker nodes, Kubernetes version. Is it the same version which uh, your control plane is running? If it's not, go and upgrade the worker nodes as well. So same version must be there for all the worker nodes and the control plane. If everything is there, I assume that you are using the auto scaling group. Okay, it is. it must be there. Then only you can achieve the zero downtime during the upgrade scenario of EKS cluster. Now, first of all, you go and upgrade the control plane. And in the control plane, you will go and upgrade the queue proxy. Queue proxy, definitely. We are running the daemon set for the queue proxy. So upgrade the queue proxy. Then go and upgrade the core DNS, CNI, and as well as the cluster autoscaler. These things you will upgrade it. Okay, that is from the control plane side, we need to do it. Once we've done that thing, then what you have to do it, you will go and create an auto scaling group. Auto scaling group, this is in AWS cloud feature, okay? The auto scaling group, you need to go and create a new auto scaling group with new version of Kubernetes, which we are upgrading it, okay? So one worker node will be there. Now what you have to do is you go and create a pod disruption budget policy. PDB policy, you go and create it, okay, in the existing worker node. PDB will help us out to make sure that, okay, any kind of zero application should not be fully drain out or fully terminate. So if you want to save our application and don't want to cause zero time time, PDB will help you out. You can go and check the description of this. I have already explained how PDP pod disruption budget will be created and it will make sure that minimum number of application pods are running on other healthy nodes in case of when we are upgrading the worker node. So you need to create this PDB policy. It will save us from the full termination of any application pod in case of upgrade scenario. Once this is done, then you go and start cordon the particular worker node and not no, no need to do the cordon, sorry. You will be updating the deployment, okay? Deployment or stateful set, whatever you are running it. In that, you will go and add the node selector. Node selector, and you will mention the new version, which you have added it in the auto scaling group, new version. So automatically the replicas will automatically start migrating to the new auto scaling group and the old auto scaling group will automatically scaling down and new auto scaling group will automatically scaling it up. So you don't need to go and do the individual node cordon, but you need to create PDB. So PDB will save our application in case of any disruptions. Okay. Why PDB can help you out? Suppose I am running a single replica node as pod. Okay. In that case, uh, it will not go and drain the particular worker node. It will halt it there. So in that case, in this kind of a, a disruption, we can save it out. So definitely this is the way you can go and upgrade your EKS cluster with zero downtime. Thank you everyone. If you have any question and comment, feel free to
put in the chat window.